In this video, we will continue working on the same project we started in our introduction to endpoints and add a new component, the logger. A logging component allows you to send information to Mule's log files. This information can be anything, from a simple static string to a complex expression involving message payloads or message attributes. The information can be of different levels of importance. We'll discuss that in a moment. First, open the echo flow by double-clicking the echo.mflow entry in the package explorer. Now, to add the logger, drag it from the components drawer to the design area between the HTTP endpoint and the echo component. Now, double-click the logger to customize its behavior. In the message field, enter the following text. My payload is pound open bracket payload close bracket. Pound open bracket payload is a Mule expression that will be evaluated every time a request is made on this flow. Mule has a powerful expression language that can be used to evaluate XPath, Groovy, and much more at the request or response. The Mule's documentation will have a complete list of expressions that Mule supports. In the level dropdown, leave it as info, as this is the default logging level. In this window, you can assign a level or severity to your logged messages. You can configure the minimum level that Mule's logger will send to its log file or to the console. If you are familiar with Java's log4j, this dropdown should be nothing new to you. There are a number of different levels available to you. An advantage of selecting levels is that you can add your to your flows, loggers emitting debug level messages for development, and then filter them out when you put the app in production. Logger components would still be there, but the messages they emit would not be visible. Other levels are error, warn, debug, and trace. Category is an extra text that Mule can add to logged messages. You can use a category name to make it easier to search through your log files. For now, we will leave this field blank. Click on OK. Now we will run the flow. Right click on the echo.mflow and select run as and then mule application. Switch to the browser and open the HTTP endpoints address, localhost 8081, and enter hello mule. We see that the message has been echoed back just as before, but now if we switch back to studio and look at the messages that mule logs the console. We can see that the message the logger component sent there. We can also see favicon.ico, which is a default request from your browser. So, what just happened? You added a logging component showing how you can chain elements together, and you used the pound payload expression to log the payload of the request. The expression is evaluated at runtime at every request. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for using Mule.